the vast majority, the vast, vast majority of cropland is grown to feed the animals you eat. So any crop death, any uh, pesticide um, harm, any uh, predator shooting, any of that is, is magnified, magnified by huge amounts when you eat animal products. It never fails. Every time I tell a militant vegan about the death and damage exacted upon animals and the earth by the fertilizer and crop protection industries, the militant vegan will always pull the but the cows though fallacy. The but the cows though fallacy says that whatever amounts of lethal crop protection measures and fertilizers are currently required for a crop, such as soybeans, can be blamed on livestock. Because, for instance, by weight, a higher percentage of each soybean is fed to livestock than is consumed by humans. However, we also know that humans are consuming 100% of the oil from 90% of the world's soybeans. So a vegan blaming destructive soybean agriculture on cows is a bit like a cannibal blaming his murderous diet on the vultures because he only eats the heads. But now I've found evidence that reveals that veganism is, in fact, the absolute darling of the industrial fertilizer industry. I ran across this 2019 annual report by one of the world's leading mined and synthetic fertilizer producers, and we see them addressing veganism down here on page 15. The growth of veganism in the developed world will go some way towards balancing this trend. However, while the rate of increase may appear impressive, those identifying as vegan still only account for a small proportion of the total population. The actual increase was from 1% to 6% of the population. All this means that veganism needs to progress much more to have a really meaningful impact on global production. This proves beyond a shadow of a doubt, despite what prominent vegan activists like to tell their followers. The industries that are polluting our drinking water, causing oceanic dead zones, killing wildlife and untold numbers, as well as causing disease in human beings, are expecting to considerably increase production in the coming years while we watch them stomp out regenerative animal agriculture and implement a potentially genocidal global vegan mandate. Like it and thanks for watching.